guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I have been wanting to do for a while. I'm going to be showing you guys my vinyl collection and hopefully this inspires some of you if you are thinking about starting a record collection. I'm also going to be giving you guys some like tips and tricks on how to take care of your records in case you are curious. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started on my collection. Next, we have this album, Typical of Me by Lofi. Um, this album is super good. I've actually started like listening to more of Lofi's music because lots of people are like into her. So I was like, I've heard of her, but I've never really listened to her. So I thought I should like check her out. Um, yeah, it's a really good album. It comes with this cute little like poster of photos of her and then the track list. Um, I would say Lofi's music is more like jazz kind of, like chill jazz. So this is the LP that it comes in. It's just like plain black, but yeah, this album is really good. All right, the next vinyl is Folklore by Taylor Swift. This is my favorite Taylor Swift album. Um, Folklore is just like, oh, it's so good. Um, this is the Target edition, so it does come in the giant red LPs. I did show this vinyl in my Taylor Swift merch collection, so you don't have to watch me show this one. Um, got really nice photos from the Folklore photo shoot. This is the LP. Of course, it is Target, so it's like bright red. Um, yeah, this album, like, it's literally the best. Okay, the next one is Emails I Can't Send by Sabrina Carpenter. This album is, oh my gosh, chef's kiss. It's, it's so good, like I love like all the songs on it. It's probably like a no skip album for me. But yeah, so you open it, it has all the songs. And then I actually have this one in a sleeve here like this because there's a tip. Um, the paper sleeves or like the like, I don't know, like cardstock kind of material sleeves that all the LPs come in are actually not good for your vinyls and it will like damage them over time. Vinyl, um, these vinyl seals are a lot better for your LPs because they will not damage them. Um, I think these are from Amazon. You can just get a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, anyway, here is the LP for emails I can't send. Oh, and also with Sabrina's album, she always puts a poster in them. So the emails I can send one did come with a poster, which I will show you at the end of the video. Okay, the next vinyl that I have is Speak Now, Taylor's version, which again, I did show in my Taylor Swift merch video, but I will just show it again for those of you that didn't see that video. This album, again, it's probably one of my favorite Taylor Swift albums ever. I used to like not really like this album as a Swifty, but then like over the last like year or so, I've started to like it. A lot more. This one is heavy. It comes with three LPs because there's literally how many songs? 22 songs. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. These sleeves are not great for your LPs because it will damage them over time, but like they're still pretty, so I'm definitely still gonna keep them because yeah. I literally am obsessed, like I'm not exaggerating when I say I'm obsessed with this week now Taylor version LP because um I hope you guys can see on camera. It has a really cool splatter effect, which I just think is like the coolest. Taylor, I, I don't know who designs Taylor Swift's like vinyls. Um, I would assume Taylor probably gets a say in what she wants them to look like, but I would think it's probably like Taylor Nation, 13 Management, or um, Republic Records, her record label, who kind of like designs them. All right, the next vinyl is another Taylor Swift album and it is Midnight's. This is one of my newer ones to my collection. I got it like a month or two ago. Um, this, I like Midnight's again. I love it. This album I listen to a lot when I'm like reading late at night. Um, it's a really good album if you need to like wind down. And Midnight's, the vinyls, if you got every single variant, it would make a clock. But this is the lilac edition of Midnight's. So yeah, if you open it, here's the photo. And I really like this one because it comes with like a book and it basically shows you every single track and then Taylor has like the prologue of what inspired the album. Got all the songs on it. So yeah, that's really cool. And then the LP itself is the lilac. Again, this one is like splattered and I just think it's so, so pretty. I don't know if you can really see it. 
can't really see it on camera. It looks really cool to me because my light, like my ring light light is like reflecting onto it. So yeah, but there, I think you can kind of see it. The next vinyl I did show in my Taylor Swift merch collection, but it is 1989 Taylor's version. This album I love so much. This has probably always been like my favorite Taylor album, probably like the most nostalgic one to me as well. Um, just like 1989 is like one of, in my opinion, one of the best albums of all time. Um, and 1989 Taylor's version actually made it into Apple Music's top 100 albums. It ranked like 17 or 18, I don't know. But yeah, it, this one is so cute because it has a really cute photo collage. This is also the tangerine version, so it has Sweeter Than Fiction on it. I really like this LP. It does look really yellow on camera, but it's more like peach in person. Also, my favorite Taylor Swift song of all time is on this album. Um, and my favorite Taylor Swift song of all time at the moment is track 15, which is You Are In Love. That song I, just, I literally love so much. Um, one of my favorite Swift YouTubers, who I will tag, she will know who she is, she's probably not watching this, but um, she went to the Eras tour and um, she was in like the front row in LA and got You Are In Love as her surprise song. And when I first watched that video, maybe like a year and a half ago, I was like, I've heard about Taylor Swift song, but I never really listened to it. So I did listen to it and over the last couple months I've been like obsessed with it, I literally had it on repeat. It's probably gonna be my top song on my song wrapped, but yeah. Okay, the next vinyl is the first one I ever got and I love this one so much. It's the Barbie soundtrack. This is one that I literally wanted forever and I'm so happy that I got it. This soundtrack is probably like one of the best movie soundtracks ever made. And the best part is the LP is bright pink, which hello, you cannot go wrong. This is my favorite color. So, so cute. Okay, this next one is probably again, one of like my favorite albums ever. Um, like literally my family is obsessed with this album. We listen to it all the time. And that is Billie Eilish's Hit Me Hard and Soft. Honestly, this album should get album of the year. It's like, it's so good. Um, so yeah, I just like love this album. Um, let me open it. And this one I also have in one of these like special sleeves. So you can see the LP from inside of it. It's like, I don't know if this is like blue or green. You guys can let me know because I don't really know. But yeah, it's a really pretty color. We are down to our last two vinyls. So the second last one that I would like to show you guys is Sabrina Carpenter's new album, Short and Sweet. This album, again, like me and my family, like we just, we love it. Um, it's so good. And Sabrina is just like so hilarious. Like in her lyrics, she comes up with like the most clever um, phrases to say. So when you open it, I really like this one because it's like a newspaper ad. I just love her whole like vintage aesthetic. So it says Sabrina Carpenter, she makes quite an impression. Um, and it says like USA $4, which is really cool. So. Yeah, and this also did come with a poster, which I will again show you guys. And the LP itself, I'm like obsessed with. It's just so adorable. It comes in this paper sleeve, which is very vintage. Like, look at that, look at that blue color. Like, that's so pretty. And then we have like the kiss marks. I think those are her actual kisses. All right, and the last and final vinyl that I have to show you guys is a very, 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 very special album to me. I love this album with my whole heart. The Tortured Poets Department. My child, my literal child, this album is the best. I really do wish though that Taylor put the Tortured Poets Department, the anthology on vinyl because the anthology songs are just so good. Like I love them so much. Um, so if she had put that on vinyl, I definitely would have bought that. So when you open it, this vinyl to me is just like the coolest because it has the Stevie Nicks poem there. Um, that by the way, she wrote on September 13th at 8.50 p.m., which was, as I'm recording this, was yesterday. Um, this is like literally the coolest because it's it's like you're reading a book. Like I actually read this the other night as a book, which may sound kind of silly, but like it's true. Um, so yeah, literally every song, um, photos from the photo shoot, lyrics. It's, it's just the coolest. Like I don't know, like Taylor's marketing is so good like what she comes up with for selling her products is like crazy um, literally love it um so yeah and what i thought is like literally so cool is the poem that she wrote in here i actually read it the other night and it is it's crazy it's so, good. 
So then the sleeves that the actual LPs come in is really cool. And when I bought this, I was really convinced that there was dirt on mine, but then I realized that it's like that for everyone. Um, so if you have this vinyl and you were thinking the same thing, it's not just you. Um, and it's so cool because it, it, that's her actual handwriting there and then Post Malone's actual handwriting. Um, got a photo from when she was recording a song. Um, yeah, it's just like a cream white LP. Um, so yeah, and then her writing, I just, it's, I, it, it's so crazy to me that this photo was her recording some Torture Poets songs and look at the date, 2023. You're telling me girl was on a massive world tour, let's keep in mind the highest grossing tour of all time, and she was also writing a 31 track album. I don't know how she does it. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to record tips as well as like where I got my vinyls and like my vinyl wish list. So the first tip is definitely get a record player that has like a built-in speaker. So mine over here is from Amazon and it comes with this built-in speaker and it's also Bluetooth, which is really good. By the way, I will link the record player in the description in case you guys wanna buy it. Um, I'm only saying that because if you buy a record player that doesn't come with a speaker, you're then gonna have to buy probably at least two separate speakers, which is gonna be like hundreds of dollars if you put together the cost of the record player as well as the two speakers that could be like hundreds of dollars. Um, I definitely didn't want to do that, so that's why when I was looking for record players, I chose one that came with a built-in speaker. Um, and I just love this so much, like the sound is so clear and the quality is really good. Something else, um, that I would like to point out is that this one was like probably I think like $70, which is really, really good um, for a record player. Some record players are really expensive. Also, when you're holding an LP, it's really important that you hold it like this, like on the edges. So when I'm putting it in, I always hold it on the edges because if you like hold it like with your fingers on it like this, I'm not gonna do it. But if you hold it with your fingers on it like this, then that is just gonna scratch it and damage it and then the sound isn't gonna work properly. So holding it just like gripping onto it like this with your two hands is way better so that you do not damage it. Another tip is to make sure that when you are putting the like the vinyl into um, the like sleeve, make sure that you are not putting the opening sticking out like this or the opening sticking out like that. I made that mistake when I started collecting. Um, I put one of my LPs back in the vinyl like um, case thing and I put it this way and then the LP almost fell out. Um, so that was kind of scary. Um, so make sure you're putting it in like this so that the opening is facing up so that if it tries to spill out, it will not. So like, look, I can tip it upside down and nothing's gonna happen. Okay, so now I'm gonna get on to vinyls that I really want in my collection and vinyls that are on my little vinyl wish list that I have. So as you all know, I am a massive, massive, massive Taylor Swift fan. So my ultimate goal is to collect every single Taylor Swift album, which we're honestly doing pretty good. The only Taylor Swift albums that I don't have, if we aren't counting like, the stolen ones, well, I'm gonna count debut and reputation because those don't have re-recording. So yeah, I do not have debut, I don't have fearless Taylor's version, I don't have red Taylor's version, I do not have reputation, I do not have lover, I don't have evermore. So I'm missing six um, out of 11. Another vinyl that I definitely want is The Secret of Us by Gracie Abrams. I've lately just been loving that album so much. So that is an album that I definitely want in my collection. I would also love Guts by Olivia Rodrigo. I think that would be a great one. And then maybe I would collect the stolen Taylor Swift albums. I don't know, part of me feels guilty doing that, but like, I feel like if I'm gonna become a serious collector, those might be valuable to have in my collection because someday they probably will be gone. I got these two posters in my short and sweet vinyl. And then I got this poster in my emails I can't send vinyl. Well guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked this video. And stay tuned because I'm planning to post a lot more and I have been thinking of some video ideas. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.